A crystal clear winter morning on Maryland's eastern shore reveals the magnificence of migratory birds. 40,000 of them at the Blackwater National Refuge near Cambridge. Blackwater is a maze of marshland, field and forest stretching for miles to a distant horizon. Originally established for ducks in 1932, the refuge has become one of the chief wintering areas for Canada geese, using the Atlantic Flyway for their trip south from Ontario. Blackwater is not an exclusive resort. In addition to geese, 20,000 ducks, mallards, blue and green-winged teals, and pintails, along with the graceful tundra swans, make Blackwater a melting pot of waterfowl society. Swans begin their migration from Alaska and Siberia, make a brief stopover in North Dakota, then catch an eastbound cold front for a non-stop ride, 1,200 miles to the eastern shore. About a thousand of these huge but handsome birds call Blackwater their winter home. Their awe-inspiring presence is keenly evident upon takeoff and flight. Drawn by abundant food sources and protected waters, Canada geese have been making their annual journey from Ontario's Ungava Peninsula to the Chesapeake Bay region for thousands of years. Their V-shaped flight pattern serves two purposes. The birds share each other's wing-driven updrafts, which conserves energy while flying and allows them to travel a more accurate course by group sightings of landmarks below. Blackwater's popularity as a winter haven among migratory waterfowl is no accident. Under the protection and control of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the refuge is constantly being regenerated through the efforts of man. A lot of these acres that, that are on Blackwater Refuge were historically in farmlands. And what we're doing is we're restoring wetlands on these areas by creating dikes and levees. And this gives us a water source in which we can flood these impoundment systems that you see behind me here. It is a constant battle to reclaim marshland lost through natural causes. Rising water levels and increased salinity destroy the fragile ecosystem. Through the efforts of department officials like Larry Hardis, habitat is increasing. Increasing not only for migratory waterfowl, but for year-round residents such as the bald eagle and peregrine falcon. We set the table, so to speak, uh, for the wildlife and, and provide sanctuary and, and a year-round home. Blackwater is an example of how the Chesapeake Bay can be enjoyed year-round. The best time to visit the refuge is the winter months from November through March, when the bird population is at its peak. Visitors can experience the entire habitat from their car along a five-mile wildlife drive. Blackwater is located 10 miles south of Cambridge. Follow the signs from Route 50.